Okay, we're gonna finish this guy up here. We're pretty much done with these top two sunflowers, so I've kind of zoomed in on the bottom area. Get it up a little bit so you can see all the petals. So we're kind of zoomed in on this bottom sunflower. So we're gonna stick with our same color combos, our Cad Medium Yellow Hue, our Quinacridone Gold, our Quin Burnt Gold, or sorry, Quin Burnt Orange and pyro orange those are the colors we'll be sticking with so we're going to come up here we've got this guy pretty well done so let's come work on this section he's got some rules and curves so i'm going to get into my quen burnt orange i already did a little patch of the pyro orange in there so we're going to come around this petal we're mapping our shapes in so that kind of has a vein here. Wipe my brush off. I got a clean brush now. A thirsty brush is clean with a little bit of water on it. I'm just gonna smooth out clean brush, not much water. Enables me to erase and smooth. All right, I'm gonna get some Quinn Gold on my brush now. I'm gonna come up here, just kind of like a fold in this petal. Move my lights around a little bit so I'm maybe get rid of some of that shadow. All right, clean brush, pull a highlight back out here. Okay, I'm gonna get some Quinn Burnt Orange. There's a pretty deep crevice in this one, but I'm gonna map it out with Quinn Burnt Orange. A little more of a saturation of it. We're not just in a thin, but kind of a cream saturation. Rinse my brush, clean up. Clean up and smooth. Okay, I'm gonna get a little bit of pyrrole orange, then consistency will come down on this petal. There's a little bit of a shadow on this side, so our pyro orange is doing that for us in a lively way. I'm gonna scrub out <clears throat> a little bit of that, or some of the center of the flower that bled over onto that previously, so I'm just gonna get rid of a little of that. I'm gonna get a little bit of Queen Burnt Orange and drop it in at the back side push and pull and cleaning. Okay, so let's come over here. We worked on that one already. Thinning that out, cleaning up that. Let's get a little bit of Quinn Gold and do a little veining on this one.
more Quin Gold. There's a leaf that needs to go in here. That's what that white area is. Throw a little pyro orange in here. I'm just pulling from that pyro orange to give a little definition to the petal in front. What's happening here? Clean this one up. It needs to be smoothed out a little bit. Okay, little Quinn Gold, map out our petals. This is a pretty section, let's see. leaving little highlights in there. See how it's kind of got like striation. So I'm leaving a little highlight of the yellow around it. And then we're gonna drop in a little pyrrole orange. Added a little more pyro orange. Okay, and then this. I just used a clean brush to kind of smooth that out. I'm gonna get a little of my Quinn Gold. I'll come in here. There's a kind of deep crevice. Okay, I'm going to add some pyro orange in here. Alright. Wipe my brush off. I'm going to pull a little color. Just pulling a little because it's kind of lighter. Let's see. This petal's on top of that one, so I'm trying to pull enough, you know, so it's light enough that you now see the petal underneath. It's going to be darker. Okay, add a little pyro orange. I'm going to go back in this deeper crevice and add some Quinn Burnt Orange. Okay, 
Just looking at my values, checking out my petals, I needed a little Quin Burnt Orange in here. Once I lay in the color, I kind of wipe my brush off and then I smooth from the pigment already there. Rinsing my brush, going to pull from this pigment and kind of have a nice transition. Okay, I'm gonna get a little uh, Quin Burnt Orange and go under this petal. Rinse my brush. Pull from what I got. Rinse and wipe. Thirsty brush so we can smooth and clean. Now I'm kind of lifting some color. Okay, I got a little twin gold. All right, so this petal kind of comes up here and does a curly Q thing. I'm gonna go around the other side of this petal, so kind of the, on the back side of that petal. So we're outlining the shadow behind it. Then I get a little more corn gold and we'll do the veining down the middle of that one. All right, I'm gonna get a little corn burnt orange. Rinse my brush. Rinse again. Now I'm just kind of lifting, pulling. Got some more. I didn't want it. So, like I said, if you get, I said in our workshop, if you get um, confused or lose your place, you know, just make some patterns and shapes and shadows. You know, try to follow along in the reference photo if you can't figure it out in the reference photo, as long as it's pretty and lively. I'm kind of get a little Quinn, or sorry, Pyro Orange. Okay, so I was just kind of making some of the shapes. I'm going to get a little Quinn gold. And get a little depth in here. I'm leaving, a, you know, some of the little bright sunflower yellow sparkles around the center because they're pretty. And we need some of the, I call those kind of like confetti areas where they have, you know, like bright little sparkles of the yellow. So you don't want to miss those. You want to leave, you know, I have some here. I have some in this one. We want to make sure we're leaving some of those little yellow bits here and there around the inside of the thing, inside of the, toward the base of the sunflower. <clears throat> Get a little Quinn burnt orange. And I'm going to come back over here. This one's kind of in shadow. If you get too much water, just kind of wipe brush off because you don't want to bring too much water to this party.
little pyro orange. Anytime I think it's getting a little flat or not lively, pop a little of that orange in there. orange behind this petal. Okay. Lucked out. I didn't cause myself a big mess. I didn't drop the paintbrush like that. It spattered paint everywhere. Luckily that one I was able to deflect a little bit. Okay, let's come over here and look. So we have, I'm going to get Quinn Gold. We have a petal coming down and a shadow behind it. So I'm going to do this for the shadow behind it, the Quinn Gold. I tell you, when you're painting like little details and lots of little moving pieces, you know, or, you know I say moving pieces, but lots of little pieces, and shapes and colors and if you start to get lost and frustrated um, it's time to take a break uh, last night I was getting a little frustrated with some of these petals and I really couldn't see what was going on or you know maybe you're tired I'd had a migraine yesterday so maybe you know that was not helping so today I'm feeling much more in the groove and I feel like painting is like that you can and your body does um, fight you when you're trying to get into the creative process sometimes so you have to push through it um th some days but some days it's just not going to happen like you're not in the place to do it and so try to there's like a little sliver of yellow so I'm kind of going around that little sliver so it's a hard figure it's hard to figure out whether you're just not in that mode today and you're not going to get there or you just haven't gotten in the creative mode yet. So what I would say, give yourself 20 or 30 minutes of painting and if you cannot get in the groove and things are just frustrating and not working, then either go to an easy area, you know, like the center of the flowers are fun. Go to a different area of the painting and work on it and see if you can get in the groove there. If it's just not going to happen that day, then, you know, do administrative stuff. Do something else that day and come back um, to it at a different time. Because uh, sometimes just going to sleep and having a good night's sleep and coming the next day, I'm like, oh man, what was taking me forever yesterday, I'm whipping through. And I feel like that with these petals right now, you know, like some of these other petals were taking me forever and now I feel like, oh, okay, we're in a group. Maybe we're in an easier section, I don't know. Maybe they're a little more easier to figure out down here. Get some Quinn burnt orange and throw it in right in here. But whatever it is, it's kind of an easy groove today. Okay, I'm going to map out again with our Quinn gold on this next petal. I'm skipping around, leaving some yellows here and there. I'm going to get some pyro orange, liven things up, drop it in back at the base here. Pull it down a little bit. And then I see kind of a ridge. It's kind of like a crinkle. A shadow. I don't know if it's like, if there's like a little ridge of color. So it's kind of like this um, Quinburn orange. Kind of a nice little ridge of that color. And I'm going to try to integrate it within the middle of the flower here. Leaving those pops of the yellow sunflower. I'm going to smooth it with a little water. Okay, perfect. 
dropped a yellow. And here there's another little ridge. Okay, I'm back to Quinn Gold to start mapping some shapes out. Let's see. I'm just gonna get a little of that. There's that ridge kind of travels over onto this side too, and I'm gonna kind of do it in the Quinn Gold over here. So it's not as orange in that section. Loving that. Okay. Back to Quinn Gold. Let's go follow along and map. back of that petal and then the other so see how we laid in the quin gold and then I just pulled with the clean brush and a thirsty brush kind of over there <clears throat> okay I'm gonna get a little quin gold do the rinse uh, come over to here I think there's a leaf that needs to go right in there Little Quinn Gold, there's kind of a petal sitting on top of a petal. And then a little in the shadows back here. Wipe my brush. Get a little Quinn Burnt Orange. This is my Quinburn orange, and I'm just kind of, I'm kind of mapping in with the Quinburn orange right now because it's a little more pronounced in here. And then I cleaned up, I kind of pulled a highlight out right there. And I'm gonna go in, I kind of pulled, my highlight kind of pulled into here too, so I'm gonna go back and add some of that Quin Gold, sorry, um, Quinburn orange into the center there, okay. Alrighty, I'm gonna get a little more of that Quinburn orange. Okay, I'm gonna add a little pyro orange. Back to Quinn burnt orange. Rinse my brush. All right, rinsing, and then I put a vein in with a Quimbert orange, and I'm just gonna go back and smooth and pull little highlights here and there. Smooth and pull highlights. All right. And then we'll add a little pyrrole cool orange. And then I'm going to add some um, Quinn Burnt Orange on top of that Pyro Orange. Rinse my brush. I got little furry areas. I'm trying to clean that up. Quinn Burnt Orange. 
dropping that in there. Okay. Thin gold. Okay, there's kind of a twist, so I'm gonna put a little behind it, a little on the front side of it, wipe off most of it, and then pull a nice little vein of it. Get into my Quinn Burnt Orange, have a little darker down toward the bottom, rinse, pull, okay. I'm gonna pull a little, I'm gonna, I'm scrubbing out a little bit with my, just my plain brush and some, or my um, clean brush and some water. Pull out some of those yellow highlights that got a little covered up and we can go in and add some cad yellow um, if they're too light. Right. Okay, so even if you like covered over and didn't get those, that little ridge with the little highlights of yellow, these colors are very lifting. They come off easily with just a little tiny bit of scrubbing in that. So. Well, it adds a lot of character, and I think it's really pretty, so. Okay, back to Quinn Gold for mapping. Alright, let's see. This petal's kind of twisting, and there's a little hot highlight of that yellow. Twisting, got a little yellow in there. All right, what's happening up here? It's still my Quinn Gold. I'm just trying to figure out what's going on in this petal. That was into another one, so I don't want to do that. Okay, I'm gonna go Quinn burnt or um, Quinn burnt orange. We're leaving that little glimmer of yellow in there. Rinse my brush. Pull from the pigment I lay down. Okay, there's kind of a twist here. Softening. All right, there's like a rolled up flower. So we're gonna go in with a little of our Quinn Gold to map out. It's maybe too wet in here, but we're gonna kind of the center of that rolled up one. And then here is a twist back here. Petal kind of twists around, so we'll go in and clean that up in a second. And then there's some yellow, let's see. Kind of got that twist. All right, I'm gonna get a clean brush and I'm gonna pull oops, some gray pop up on my brush from somewhere. Okay, so I'm gonna go in and pull clean 
this is part of the twisted petal and it had another color on it on the inside of the flower. Okay, perfect. So if you ever do that and you don't, it's too light or you need, you see some color that you don't like, go back in with the cad yellow and then we can pull that back out. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to go over here. All right, what's happening with this guy? So this guy's got a loop and then it goes in. And then loop. Something like that. I'm missing a little. There's a little part of the petal that loops out here. So I'm going to try to lift it. I think it's going to come up. I don't have to do this. It would be fine without it, but I kind of I kind of like this little loopity loop section, so I'm just going to add it in. All right. Let's come over here and clean up. I'm going to get a little Quinn gold. And burnt orange. Okay, so I'm going to come in behind and get that shape. important thing with these flowers is you don't want to look like you've outlined petals so you have to kind of pull clean up and then you know add in shading back behind them instead of like thinking of it as an outline and come in behind here I don't want them to start getting tortured I feel like I'm starting to torture this up here Let's move on for a second. Let's go over here with some pyro orange. This is pretty happy and bright. So I'm going to go in with pyro orange up here. Let's switch to Quinn Gold. Rinse and clean. There's a little Quinn burnt orange. There's a little Quinn burnt orange I dropped in. All right, I'm going to move over here to this one and let things dry over there. What's happening back here? Clean up some of this. Just going back over that yellow that I did earlier. Alright, 
here's this rolled up one. Here's this dark. So we need a little darker in there. So I'm going to get a little thin burnt orange. Drop it in the very center. It's very dark. A little loop. wiped my brush off now pulling from the pigment just so we have a nice transition all right come over here we have a similar situation so we're gonna get I'm gonna do a little clean burnt orange this goes up and in around all right so I'm just trying to get that shape in there wiping the brush gonna pull nice little trend you know little petal there from that pull from the pigment here get that shape go back in get a little more quin burnt orange wipe my brush off oops I didn't wipe it off good enough Quinn burnt orange. I'm just trying to darken that little area in there. Get a little pyro orange. Drop it in there and then add that pyro orange in here. It's kind of glowing. Rinse my brush. From that pyro in there, and then that pyro kind of pulls out here. Get a little Quinn Gold. Wipe my brush off, pull. Okay, little Quinn Gold. Pull it back into here, wipe my brush off. Just gonna pull some highlights. All right, let's go work back here for a second. When gold to map. All right, I get a little pyro orange.
And then if you need Quinn Gold or uh, Quinn Burnt Orange. Drop it in there. Okay, I'm gonna rinse. Let's see, and I'm gonna soften a little bit. Like get rid of corn gold and throw it on the edge here. some dark stuff. Okay, so let's go get some um, Quinn Burnt Orange. Okay, so there is that. In here is pretty dark. We did there. Under here is really dark. Here is really dark. This is the Quinn Burn Orange, and so I'm just kind of doing a squint, see what needs to be darkened up a little. Just getting a little more definition in here. It was looking a little like one giant petal. So I'm just adding a little Quinn Burnt Orange back into the center here. Alrighty. I'm about to call it on this one. Let's see. We can add, there's not Quinn Burnt Orange there, but. I got off on my shape a little, so I'm just going to do something that adds some interest. Okay. Let me go around the edge there. All right. Let me add a little there. Ladder there. All right, back in between the leaves, we'll get a little indigo sepia mixture. And you can glaze over some of those greens if they're too um, white.
Okay, I'm gonna rinse my brush and I'm just gonna go back and smooth out any areas that feel kind of disjointed or messy. Anything needs to be darkened, you can darken it. Go in here now. Things are dry, I can go right up to that petal. This looks kind of like a big mess, so I need to do something to that. And I am gonna glaze over those a little bit with some undersea green or a little sap green, just to pull a little out. Okay. All right, so we will come over here. Quinn gold to map. It's pretty deep crevice here. Okay, clean brush, softening. And then all along the bottom, I'm making a little pyro orange kind of rolls under here, so. Okay, this petal. You just break some of these complicated petals into shapes and colors and not think of it as twisting or anything super complicated, you know? Just say shapes and colors. What shape and color do I see? I see some orange in the center here. Back on with the Quinn Gold. Okay, I'm going to rinse it. Got a little heavy on the Quinn Gold, but I'm going to clean it up now. I kind of pull from it. Okay. Quinn Gold. orange back to Quinn gold clean up the edges all right Quinn gold still on my brush, so I'm gonna come and get this roll. The petal's kind of rolling, so I'm gonna get a little pyro orange. yellow back in there all right we're in the home stretch here we'll get a little quinn gold quinn gold got kind of a little 
little triangle shape right there. Drop a little pyro orange. Too much, so I wiped some off. I had too much on my brush. Okay, I lost the highlight, so I'm gonna clean my brush and then come in here and pull it back out. Gotta love these lifting colors. All right. I got some Quinn Gold. All right, I'm gonna go with a little Quinn Burnt Orange down on here. We have a lot of medium value and not a lot of darks, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw in, turns the, turn the core of things some of these. Dark values here. And then I'm going to smooth. Get rid of any little furry bits. All right. I think that's where we're gonna stop tonight. That was a leaf, I think. Add that in. I'm gonna get a little undersea green. There's a little white spot. It's bugging me. I think that was a leaf. Okay. So I'm gonna stop there. So get your pet your petals in. I'll add, I need. I am going to add a little dark spot right here right in the center of the flower, but it's wet right now, so I'm going to add that little dark bit right there. But that's where I'm going to stop tonight. Tomorrow, we'll go in and finish the vase and the rest.